Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss about singleton design pattern in iOS. So like this is one of the design pattern which almost every one of us have used you know, in, in code sometimes. But many times the question comes uh, in an interview to, like is singleton is too bad to use or if it is good then you know, in which scenario we have to use. If it is too bad then why we are using it or why in fact Apple is also using singleton in many instances. So we'll discuss about all these scenarios in this video. So please pause this video till end. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe. Okay, now let's come to the question, what is singleton, the first thing. So if I go with the Apple's documentation, what does singleton do? Provide access to shared resource using a single shared class instance. So what does basically singleton says that you can create only one instance of a particular class. So how can I declare a singleton? So let's say that I create a class, uh, I call it logger. And then here I create a static where shared equals to logger. And then I'm creating the object of this, I create logger equals to logger dot save. Okay. So this is like I'm accessing it through the a single shared instance. But the question is that is it really a singleton? The answer is no, because I can always write it like let logger one equals to logger. So I'm not preventing my logger class to be initiated from outside of the class. So this the first thing that when you are creating a singleton you always have to override the init method to make sure that in no cases anybody should be able to create object outside the class so now this is what we can tell that this syntax makes you singleton class okay so how can we create singleton class this is the answer you have to create a class make a static variable and then override the init method and make it valid okay now the question comes like is singleton trade safe okay now let's see i'm telling that singleton is not trade safe now how can we uh, like check that whether singleton is trade safe or not we'll see through a simple example so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a for loop let's say for i in one two let's say 200 and logger class so logger dot said and here let's write some method let's say that what i'm going to do here i'm going to write a function which will log all the log which i'm going to use throughout my application okay so i'll just create function write to log okay and then it will have two things let's say a key which will be of a string type and then the value it can be anything okay now where it going to log so i'll just create here a dictionary so i have it log dict and i will make it of type a string column any and then log dict key equals to value okay and let's call this function from here write to log and i'll pass the key as my i call it as key and then the value will be value i okay uh, it is giving some okay i missed a word where so now my logger is ready okay now if i run this function now what happens so it should log perfectly 200 times okay now to further check whether it is logging properly or not what i'm going to do i'm just print the same thing here so print key is key is key and value is value so let's run it again so this should successfully log me 200 times my log okay and there's nothing wrong with my singleton i'm just using so in you in this real time uh, project i can use this logger from multiple class and this very easy to use like 
now instead of directly using this for loop i'm going to create a q object so let's say q equals to dispatch q and then label i'll give it as singleton demo and then let's make it as concurrent okay now instead of directly using inside the for loop i will use using a asynchronous function so q dot async and then use a logger here so like in your scenario you will have multiple type when you, you know, work with actual project it's not like that you will be using your logger always from a uh, normal function you will be using multi-threading and you might require to log your function from some sort of queue correct so let's say in that scenario if i try to log what happens to my logger and if you see in this particular example it's got crash so that shows that this singleton is not thread safe and the reason is that because we are using a dictionary and this is not thread safe this is not thread safe and we are using it from the concurrent thread and that's the reason that it's crashing here now the question comes that is singleton thread safe the answer is no it's, if you create like this it is, it is not thread safe at all now the question comes that how to make our singleton thread safe now what can we do so that our uh, singleton becomes thread safe okay so one thing like there can be multiple approaches like using uh, serial queue using concurrent let's first use take by taking the example of serial queue so what i will do i'll define a serial queue here also and then dispatch queue i'll pass label as it's a logger queue okay and then i will log this inside a serial queue like this now if i run it this time it is not crashing it is logging everything properly but if you see here this time i have used synchronous thread and you all know that synchronous is some side some kind of a blocking thread okay so this works but it might you know, give you a scenario where you might end up with some race condition let's say that um, you are writing also and at the same time you are reading also okay so in this case when you use sync it will first try to complete the synchronous operation and then only it will allow you to read, read it correct so it it will work it will make it trade safe but yeah again it it is leading you to make a different uh, issue that is the race condition okay now what can we do so that we can avoid that particular race condition also okay so now in that case instead of making this synchronous i prefer making it as asynchronous so let's make this queue as concurrent queue so that in the future if i have to read the log also this should not should not be any problem okay so what I'm going to use here, I'm going to use another at attributes and let's call this as concurrent. Okay. Now, in the concept of concurrent, here, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use async. But if I run this right now, it's giving you some reference error. So let's say that if I give here self and then also I write it. And let's see that if it works or it still crashes. So I missed in. So in this case also it is crashing okay so now to solve this we can use a concept of called barrier now what is barrier so basically a barrier is used on a concurrent queue in order to synchronize the write operation okay right now this is not synchronized we are writing something and it is this is not synchronized okay so by indicating the barrier flag what actually it does it allows to make access to a typical resource or a certain resource to a thread safe okay so hence what happens that synchronize synchronizing write access will give the benefit of concurrent reading also that is in the future when i have let's say one more function uh, something like read log so it will allow us to simultaneously write and read both the thing okay so you uh, using the barrier is very simple what we have to do we have flags okay so here flags I'll give it as dot 
value okay now if i run this again and now if you see it's working fine okay and even now if i write a function of reading the log it will not crash so now this has become completely thread set okay so like if i if i go more in, in details of barriers so what does the, this barrier basically do so the barrier switches between concurrent and serial queue and perform as a serial queue until the code in barrier block finishes its execution and again switches back to concurrent queue after executing the barrier block this way how you can make your singleton a thread set okay like it can be accessed from multiple uh, thread so this answer is your question that how to make singleton thread set now comes the important question which is generally asked is singleton bad so the answer is like it's not like that that singleton is bad because if singleton is bad then apples must not be using it if you see like uh, there are multiple places where apple is using singleton you take your user uh, defaults you take your url session file uh, uh, manager there there a lot of scenario where apple is using the singleton so the singleton is not bad then why we are not using it or why why this question is asked that why singleton is a bad architecture the problem is that it's being misused and overused by us and and the reason is very simple let's say that if you have to share data across your application it's very easy to create a singleton class and then we know that it's uh, like a single instance so i can easily access the data throughout my application without any any do, doing any sort of hard work but the same thing if let's say that if i'm not using singleton maybe i have to use some sort of dependency injection some sort of repository there 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 are other approaches but with singleton it becomes very easier to share your functionality to share your data across the application but what the problem comes the the biggest problem if you use singleton lot many in your code is that when you try to write the test cases it will create lot of problems other problem is it breaks the solid principle because no you are not you are you are creating a singleton and then let's say that in the same function i am writing the log i am reading the log maybe in, if i have to make let's say that upload a api call i will put everything into the same singleton class so you are let's say that what if if i have to write different type of log for different functionality in that case what you will do you will again write a if else condition do more uh, uh, no conditions and then achieve your functionality your code is always in not in a good shape anybody is modifying writing and then you are breaking all the open close principle you are breaking the scope execution everything you are breaking it here so singleton is not bad but yes uh, if you uh, if you ask me that nilis are you going to use singleton my first answer will be no i will prefer not using singleton until unless there are like hey, this is one of the scenario where i have to log something or i have to create something like analytics manager in those cases i i, I will prefer using singleton but for other scenarios like if i have to write in a network layer i'll prefer not using singleton in any of such scenario so singleton is not bad but yeah we should not misuse it so that's the thing so almost if you see nowadays in the bigger company they are moving away from the singleton like if you ask for an experienced developer they don't prefer writing or using a singleton class so if somebody asks you you can just rightly tell that i prefer not using it and you can just give few example where you are using it but try not to use it and then which scenario we can consider for singleton yeah if you ask me i gave you two example if i have to create a logger class or i have to create an analytics manager class i'll prefer using singleton in those scenario but yeah for sharing data across the app or for sharing some common functionality across the app i'll never use singleton because i never never want to burden my um, memory in that particular case so that's all for uh, today's video hope uh, you like this video on the singleton and no no after watching this video you will use singleton it's not like that you will never use it but yeah you will use where it is required and don't misuse it again thanks for watching the video and if you really like the video please do subscribe the channel thank you